Brands and welcome Bankam Brands Sankwal. This is the last conversation of the day and we're inviting you on our platforms to let us know where you're watching us from. We'd love to sample your feedback or if we don't, we'll sample it off the air and still continue the conversation. But we already loaded our question and asked you, how do you balance between your work life and your normal life? But in this conversation right now, we're delving into matter stress. What are some of the contributors, especially now we zero it down to the gender? the boy child or male? What are some of the causes and the triggers of stress in the male you know, uh, spectrum? And then also, what are some of the possible you know, coping mechanisms that they can employ to ensure that they traverse through? Because in our, in our society today, a men have not been taught or rather informed on how to express how they feel because it has been seen as something that will make them more invulnerable or rather not powerful. So they'd rather just stay quiet and go through life on mute, but indeed they are facing these challenges and one of them is stress that leads to depression and then many other mental health issues that crop up on that other side. And in this conversation, I'm being joined by Emmanuel Matagaru. He is a media personality alongside Lennox Oyanga. He's a psychology and a communication student at the University of Nairobi. Karibu sana, Manu and Lennox, yeah? So I'll start off with you, Lennox. If you are to define uh, stress from your understanding, because you know, uh, you have psychology uh, background a little bit. Unge define stress kwa mse na watch size, unge mwambia stress ni nini? So stress, basically stress is the body's natural response to pressures and challenges that come along in life. So mm -hmm. that natural response, you feel you are being overwhelmed, you right. have certain pressure, then your body normally, it has to deal with it. Mm -hmm. So that's what we call stress in psychology. Right. Yes. But then uh, in today, before I come to you, Manu, shortly, in today's world, there are so many things that can cause people to be stressed. Yes. In our introduction with my uh, co-presenter, we are talking about work. In fact, in one of the articles, they said a lot of young people, especially those that are working and even transitioning from learning institution, they are stressed about how they'll get jobs. Yes. And those who also already in jobs, they are also stressed. But then stress is, it has been presented as a very mild stage of depression. So yes. you can be temporarily stressed and then, and then it now leads to depression, depression and then eventually yeah. it becomes a whole plethora of yes. mental health issues, yeah? So, so stress, when dealing with stress, you have to know what is stressing you. You might find some people, they are in financial stress. Yeah. As you said, young people are looking for jobs, they have that stress. So you have to find a way, you know, how am mm. I going to deal with this financial status so that I, I don't go into depression? Right. How, how am I going to find a job so that I don't go into depression? Because yeah. depression is a prolonged and a uh, form of stress. You mm. go deeper and go deeper yeah. Yeah, once you get into depression. Yeah. yeah, but do you believe with stress you can do some sort of um, self-regulation where you can battle it out even with yourself and calm yourself down. Let's forget about it for a minute. Yeah. But with depression, it's like you was, you've sunk into a hole yeah. and you're trying to find hope and bounce from it, but it keeps on sucking your back. Yeah? So do you believe maybe uh, stress you can bounce back without seeking, let's say, professional help as compared to you know, depression? Yeah, you can bounce back. It's very much possible. And uh -huh. it's just a matter of deciding by yourself. Right. You just decide, I'm being stressed, I have to seek for help, first thing. You, mm -hmm. you can seek for a therapist, you can maintain your boundaries, you can say, now, this, this is what is stressing me. Now yeah. I have to avoid. I have friends that are pressuring me to, yeah. move, to level up, but I don't have the means. You, you can say, mm -hmm. I can I move aside from them. Then when I'm ready to do this, I can go back and say, yeah. now I'm back. So nice. stress, you can manage it if you just decide by yourself. Yeah. You can manage, but depression, that you have to look for help when mm. it comes to depression. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let me jump on to you, Manu. Uh, I was reading somewhere and uh, they were saying, at least anyone you see outside there, even me, there's something stressing them. And uh, it could be like you mentioned financial, professional, career, family. It goes like it's a whole Pandora's box of a lot of things here. Yeah? So uh, when it comes to your experience, maybe have you ever gone through maybe seasons in life where you felt like, you know, this thing is stressing me every day, but maybe it's, it's because I've, I've availed myself there. But if I find a way of forgetting about it, perhaps I'll feel better. 
But then maybe when you decided to do that, another thing cropped up again. So instead of like dealing with the elephant in the room, there are so many other things that keep on cropping up, that keep on stressing you. And then eventually you end up becoming, you know, mentally unstable. And then it starts now from behavioral issues, and then it develops into depression. I don't know if you've ever gone through such. So first to start off, everyone suffers from stress. Yes. That's very true. Because so to add on the definition of stress, stress is a temporary reaction to nice. something that is triggering you, maybe disturbing you. Mm -hmm. So the body produces the adrenaline and the cortisol hormones, yes. if I'm right. Yeah. And then so they, they increase the heart, the heart rate, the mm -hmm. muscle, the blood flow. And then so then you suffer from stress, yeah. you become irritated. So yeah. on my personal and then experience. then anxiety yeah. Yeah. develops where you're just unsettled and yeah. you can't contain your posture. Yeah. And then yeah. now that stress. And if you mm -hmm. come to notice it, everyone suffers from it. Mm -hmm. In work, maybe you have deadlines. For example, in the media in industry, you have right. strict deadlines. You have to meet them. If it's by six, it's mm -hmm. by six, no matter what. Yeah. So, so you're today, chasing the adrenaline of finishing. Yeah, you, you should because yeah. your employer will sack you if you don't right. meet with the deadlines. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. stressful, literally. Yeah, that's stressful and mm -hmm. stress starts there. Mm -hmm. So personally, First, how you can overcome it, you accept. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you are employed, you are getting stressed by, maybe you are supposed to be at work by 5 a.m., mm -hmm. you live far, you accept. Yeah. Because you can't change the situation, you should yeah. be there. Mm -hmm. So, by accepting it, with the time, you will cope up and then it will stop being stressful. Yeah. Yeah. But the then, body will adapt. Yeah, sure. But then when you look at it in a men's perspective as well, uh, you know, for us men, we are not taught. Maybe you can't. Uh, personally, where I come from, we are taught to speak our piece. Where you know, if something is, <laughs> there's that Nigerian meme that says, "What's bothering you?" You know, you should speak out on what's <laughs> bothering you exactly. Yeah, so that at least you're at peace. But then, uh, for for the general society at large, for us men, we are told, "Be quiet, That's don't true. say anything." Be a man. <laughs> yes, exactly. Because if you start speaking out, even the ladies have have hard ladies who say, "I'll take him You know, That's but then umwanaume. Akonama issues the same way this lady has issues. The same same man has gone through the same same issue. You still experience pain, you still experience anger, sadness, even grief, yeah? Even when you look at it in our African traditional society, most people who cry are women. Try look at, you know, the dramatic funeral <laughs> processions, yeah? yeah it's yeah, women it's falling down, screaming. You rarely see a man shed tears, and if they shed, they'll hide, they'll even hide their face. Why do you think there's shame and stigma for men to speak out on their issues that they face? So first I think it's the society, the, the traditional culture, the, the man, you see the, the man in the traditional era, it was a man who was known to be a fighter, Moran, mm -hmm. you, are, you are known to be tough. So that's why even during circumcision, they were not using painkillers because as a man, you should yeah. endure pain. Mm -hmm. So I think that people have carried that notion to the, yeah. to the current. Right. And if you can see, in the, in the past, people didn't have a lot of stress because they could not stress about work. They could just go to the shamba, some, yeah. some greens, life goes mm -hmm. on. But yeah. now people have carried that notion that a man, you should die with your pain yeah. to this new era. But personally, mm -hmm. I think you should, you should express yourself, yeah. find a friend. Right. In your contact list, you won't miss someone that you can open up to maybe. Yeah, yeah, don't don't be carried by that error. It was in the past. In the past, men used to be men, but mm. there's a reason why those the doctors decided let's yeah. be using painkillers before mm -hmm. yeah. performing the manhood culture to the men. Yeah, yeah. So things are changing. They, right. they are noticing that men we are not robots. Yeah. Yeah, but then when I also look at it as a man, how do you express yourself? Because there's men who are super quiet, like, for example, for my dad, rest in peace, uh, he was a person who was really quiet. You couldn't know if he's battling anything. And I also, like, was trying to even build, before he died anyways, build up on how could he even say he's going through something without even letting us know that he's going through something. Or rather that him becoming bubbly and talkative as, as a person who does radio and TV like me. You know, for me, I'm doing it for content and it's profession, yeah? So I speak a lot, yes? It's for the money. <laughs> yes. But you know, for a person like, of, of such a post and character, they're always quiet. And then also they don't know how to even share what they're going through. So do you also believe uh, there's types of men who don't know how to even address what they're going through? And utamonatua menyamaza, I'm a withdraw and you know, next is you hear rest in peace died by suicide. Yeah, true. 
I, I believe that there are people who don't know how to express themselves. Mostly, okay. it's, it, it's based on how you are brought up. Okay. You see the setup that you are brought up in. Maybe, for example, in your case, your father didn't choose to share. Mm -hmm. So, if not for the media, you could have grown up knowing that as a man, you are not supposed yeah. to share. Right. You're supposed to, oh, my dad used to do this, so I should be like my dad, you see. Mm -hmm. So, but again, if you find that you are brought in a very friendly environment where your, your mom can, can ask for your opinion, maybe yeah. they ask you before even going out, what do you think? Should we go there? Should we buy this? Should we eat this? So yeah. you learn from a young age, expressing mm -hmm. yourself, saying, I don't want to garlic today, let's eat rice. Yeah. yeah. So that thing, you grow with it. And then mm -hmm. when you meet people, it's really easy to express yourself because you are used to it. Yeah. Yeah. But then you, when you bring, uh, Lennox, when you bring in stories as a personality, I've, I've, I was watching a podcast last week, I think in podcast taking uh, uh, these chicks who are from over 25, yeah? There's one of them who is saying she's an ambivert, the other one is saying she's an extra introvert. Yes. There's, when you bring in now personality traits yes. of men and how they can approach, you know, others, I think it needs some, a little bit of training. Because, for example, a person who shuts down, and maybe they can only open up to a person they've already had a relationship with. Like, yeah. I've known you, let's say, for a week, and now it's easier for me to even tell you, hey, you know what, yeah. I'm going through a lot here. So yes. do you believe maybe we need to start uh, understanding different types of men? Because for ladies, it's easier. You know, a lady can cry. She, she can give any reason, and she yes. can gi be given a pass because she's a lady. She's emotional, yeah? yeah? But for a man, if you start being like that, you'll be, first of all, you'll be stereotyped. And then the other thing is people will just, you know, they'll be avoiding you. They're like, we don't want a man who is all over the place. Yes. Yeah. Mano so, no mama. Exactly. <laughs> that's the word. Yeah. So first of word. all, personality yeah. is something, it's a, a trait that is inbuilt mm -hmm. deep down in a person. So right. you can find like when a person is an introvert, that's mm -hmm. an inbuilt trait. You can mm -hmm. train, but now the the inner inner self, it's, it's not giving, it don't want to to talk to people. So such mm -hmm. people, like when a man is an introvert, mm -hmm. there's that one person or two person that he talks to. Most yeah. of the introvert, they sit in the house, listen to music, dance by them, themselves. They don't want to be seen by most people. Yeah. So like such a man, if he's suffering stress, mm -hmm. he can do that as his therapy. He can listen to music. He can have yeah. a long time. He can go mm -hmm. for a nature walk. You see, yeah. that's what excites him or treats his mental health. Yeah. But when... What if this one who likes just to be in front of the computer and yeah, make yes. up lines? Like, I have a, I had a friend, she's an IT guy. Yeah. And a zima kila kitu light, konza ni blue light pale, anafanya coding. Haonge na watu for like two, three months. Ata ki go through something, you yeah. can't even pick up here. How do you even help such a person who's gone through something? Like they've built a wall. Yeah. Until you climb that one. wall, yeah. uh, it will take you, I don't know what process, yeah? And then that's so tough, but the, the most, th most thing with the, these people who are IT people, people mm -hmm. who like gaming, I, I see them like that's what makes them happy. So like yeah. talking to other people, it can take them time. Mm -hmm. Then you have to build a very deeper relationship. Maybe if it's a friend, a good, a good friend who can talk to them well, to, yeah. to help them get out from that zone. You know, that's, that's a, a zone that it's so hard. You, you yeah. don't talk to people. They say yeah. social media, right. if you use so much of social media, you mm. lose touch with the real world. Okay. Uh, yeah. So those people, they have to talk to people. You have mm -hmm. to find a friend, a person who can talk to yeah. in a very good manner. And then they, and then they listen. Yeah. But that's so tough. Yeah, I can yeah. only imagine, yeah. But also when you look at it, let's, let's, let's try to pinpoint yes. an average dude. Uh, let's say just an average Kenyan, yeah. 18 to 25, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think could possibly be stressing them, especially at a time like this? I want to pick up your mindset on it, especially yeah. right now, yeah, in Kenya specifically. Uh, most of the, that age gap is for youth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can say the youth. Most of the youth in that bracket what is stressing them mostly is how they are going to finish their studies if they are in campus. Mm -hmm. Secondly is matters of relationship mm -hmm. and they want to establish themselves to feel loved, to love yeah. an, uh, another person. Mm -hmm. Then the third thing is financial pressure. You right. know you are in, in school, you know you are, your parent is providing, uh -huh. but you are going to get out 
either mm -hmm. in a year or two you are going to get out so mm -hmm. you have to be thinking what am i going to do to get some money to yeah. buy my things there are things they desire mm -hmm. they they see things online and then they say hey, i have to buy this shoe how do i get the money yeah that stress them so much and there is more pressure in relationships right most of the uh, campus students mm -hmm. we have seen most are committing suicide most yeah. are being killed with the, the the cheating boyfriend or the cheating girlfriend yeah. so that stress stresses more mm -hmm. the guys in that nini Right. Edge bracket. Yeah, uh, Manu, do you agree that those are some interesting? Yeah, do you agree those are some of the common issues that are, are stressing a common average guy? And maybe if you're also, Gen Z. yes, <laughs> exactly. In fact, that's the word, a common Gen Z. If you are to inject in some two, three pieces, what would it be? Maybe the way I said it, and maybe health, health mm -hmm. issues, yeah. maybe finances, right? Relationship, yeah. the way, the way, the same, same things you said actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because at this bracket, mostly you don't have a lot of kids to feed, mm -hmm. no mouths to feed. You don't or maybe have you have kids, kids anyways. <laughs> but yeah, you, 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 you yeah, some have, <laughs> yeah, most of them. <laughs> and you just don't know how to, you know, you how know. To feed them. Yeah. But me, I will say self-awareness. Mm -hmm. How to deal with it, first of all, is self-awareness. Let's say maybe in a relationship or in, in matters of finance, finances, mm -hmm. know your limits. Know that me as Manu, mm -hmm. I know my limits. I know right now I cannot afford Sarova, even if I get... When Jiggy's daughter right now, she tells me, Manu, I want today to take me to Sarova. I won't yeah. uh -huh. because I can't afford it. Yeah. I'm aware that that's not. But what should it stress you, though, if, if at all <laughs> you know you can't <laughs> afford Sarova? Why should it be a pain in the neck? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying, how to deal with financial, financial uh -huh. stress. It's right. being aware, being aware that uh -huh. I can't afford it, so it should not stress me. Right. If I can afford it, it should uh -huh. not stress you because I can just pay it and have it. Yeah. Yeah. Can stress of not having a girlfriend be a contributing factor among the Gen Zs? It depends on the people that you surround yourself with. Okay. Uh, yeah. Please put it into perspective. I'd so, love to hear that. Yeah. So personally, when I was in college, uh -huh. I spent a lot of time in, a, in relationships. Okay. And I thought that in college you should be having a poor. In college is where you should meet your soulmate. But I was mm -hmm. wrong. But I didn't know. Mm -hmm. uh, me, I thought because of the peer pressure, yeah. After, after my Funny, what, what were the people around you that pushed you to that? Because you're saying because of peer pressure. My friends now, my friends in college. Uh -huh. What were they saying? Uh, they, they, were in, they were in relationships and I wanted to be like with them. Munachil na msaibi alafa na kwambia aje, check it bro, kai, nafaku miti na mpoa. You are left alone and I was like, ah, I should also have a mpoa. Mm -hmm. I went ahead, I had a mpoa. And okay. I, it was nice for some time, mm -hmm. but again, I can say that it wasn't what I really wanted. What did you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what did you, you see, want? To be honest, something that a Gen Z wouldn't want to hear is, uh -huh. honestly, at 20, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, yeah. I think relationship, I think, personal opinion, uh -huh. relationship should be one of your least things. Mm, it should be the right last now, on the giving list. Giving you stress, yeah. Okay, okay. Because honestly speaking, the person you're with right now, very low chances you'll end up together because mm -hmm. with time you yeah. will break through in your finance in your finances mm -hmm. with the time god will open doors for you will meet new people yeah. and then now especially for the ladies you'll start noticing that he is not my type yeah we work on out in your type young <laughs> so right now at that age relationship should not stress you yeah would you say that was one of the main things that you know peer was pressure. stressing you mm -hmm. peer pressure mm -hmm. to be like others but then, so do you believe you discovered yourself and now you're invincible, nothing can stress you? Yeah, right now, personally, uh -huh. I'm in a position where I can date. Right now, I can spoil a chick, I can take her out. But right now, personally, I mm -hmm. don't want. Okay. Yeah, at least now I know that there's the bigger picture. Oh, you know who you are. Yeah, there's the man I want. To and what you want, yeah? yeah? Okay, I love that walkness. Uh, let me jump on to you. Okay. Have you, maybe in your experience, identified uh, behavioral behavioral characteristics of traits that manifest as presence of stress, specifically in the boy child space. And sometimes, I was speaking to a friend of mine, and sometimes you can even meet a person on the road, and yeah. just by looking at them, you can decode that there's something off with this guy. And probably he's gone through something, Yes. But then, in your heart, you're praying, I wish I could, I, I could like, help you, you yeah. or even speak to you. Yeah. But deep down, you're like, it's a stranger, damn it. May God help, you know. <laughs> so have you identified any of those? And maybe that you say, you know what, if yeah. you see a dude behaving like this, probably this is stress. Yeah, it's very much possible. 
mostly for a, a psychology student. You can just identify by looking at someone, how they do their things. You can find someone crossing the road. The, the car is coming and it's hooting, but yeah. the person can't hear. Mm -hmm. That person has something that is taking up, eating up his mind. He's, right. he, he has a lot of thoughts. He's thinking a lot. Uh, you can meet someone talking, just talking to, by him, to himself. He's just talking. You wonder, hey, what, who is this person talking to? He's mm. just talking. <laughs> yeah, he, he can be talking to, he, he's answering his thoughts or what. He yeah. thinks he's talking to someone, eh, right. but he's really stressed. Then mm. uh, in personal life, you can find someone is so hard to cope up with the current trends, uh, what is going on. He, he has lost touch with the, uh, the common world. He's just mm. in his own world. Yeah. You, you go and tell someone, this is happening in Kenya. Adani is taking over, over our airport. The person yeah. doesn't know, he, he doesn't know anything. He's just in, those, in his own world, you yeah. see? Yeah, those are the things that you can detect stress yeah. in a person. Mm, a, yeah. pon a personally seen from my friends where somebody just disappears and it's yeah. a common thing, yeah? Yeah. And I resurface after six months and I said, yeah. hey, but now I'm back. Okay, Muliza, and I said, very shocking details like yeah. they lost an aunt, they lost yeah. a mother, they lost a girlfriend. Yeah. You know, most of it is heartbreak, you know? Yeah. So uh, I think one of the most common signs is withdrawal. I don't know if yeah. you've identified even from your friends, like uh, it's common to see like men just disappear and yeah. it starts with social media. Yeah. And on a tomb, say her post on WhatsApp, her yeah. post on Facebook, I'm if they were passionate even about creating content, it they stopped create, like two, yeah. three, four months ago. Yeah. When you pinpoint later on, you'd realize, wow, they were fighting a storm. Yeah, so m most of the people do that a lot. I even have a friend who just uh, decided to cut off just the family. Mm -hmm. You call him, he's not picking the phone. Then when he picks up the phone, you, uh, he tells you, come and, come and visit mm -hmm. me at okay. my place. So you imagine you, you have come a, a long way, maybe mm -hmm. from Kikuyu, coming yeah. to meet a person in maybe Kiambu. Yes. Then you reach that place, the guy switch, uh, switches off the phone. Yeah. So you see, he, he doesn't want any contact with the family, the friends. Yeah. Now you, you, you are at a point that you wonder, eh, what is this person doing? He doesn't want us to know his life, wh yeah. where he lives, where he, where he, what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So I have, I've seen that. Right. Yeah. You so can jump pa in. Okay. Personally, mm -hmm. I think what makes someone to withdraw, mm -hmm. some people don't know how to communicate. Mm -hmm. Personally, I have a friend of mine. He's at Royal Media. He lost an aunt. The girl has not been online. Okay. And we were just talking on the phone and he was, and he was like, I've not been online. Coming to mm. notice, he lost the aunt. Yeah. Nikamuliza mbono ukunisho, ati nilishindu wanaanza aje. Nice. So I think with the draw, niyo, knowing how to communicate, and then again, having the people to communicate to. It's very important to have at least one friend. Yeah, people are very fake. Yeah, people are fake. But at least have one. Mm. Yeah, that you can <laughs> call comfortably. You don't, you know, your communication is in a procedure. You yeah. just call someone and tell him, have mm. been at broken. Hello, yeah. Manu. Manzeni mekua at broken. Hello, man, yeah. who have lost my aunt. Yeah. The other person will take it from And there. the response is usually like, we are at Zinga, toka kwa nyumba, ya? In fact, from yeah. there, your mood changes, you guys yeah. link up and mm. you play FIFA and it's yeah. happily ever after. But yeah? if you keep it to yourself, uh -huh. it eats you in with yes. the time. Yeah. And that's how you end in depression. Yeah. Yes. With the time, you are, uh -huh. you are alone, overthinking, mm -hmm. maybe an heartbreak. I was at broken. I was the problem. Right. I could have done this. I could mm -hmm. have done this. You end up in depression because now you start blaming yourself. You start eating yourself from inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boom, in depression. Yeah. I've, I've, I've read an article where they're pointing out here. There's men who, uh, they go out in social places. And then in the process of trying to find a mask, it's like masking. I think in therapy and psychology, yeah. you call it masking. Yeah. You've been through so much, but because maybe you, you work in a social setup, where yeah. even like TV or radio, yeah. there's a lot happening to you at the background, yeah. but you're masking it with right. a smile. Yeah. Even at the workplace, you're being fought. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then you're masking it up with a smile. Yeah. Uh, me, I'm not being fought. Me, I'm, I'm having <laughs> a blast, as you can <laughs> see. <laughs> me, I'm on cloud nine, I kid you not. Yeah. <laughs> but then you have to mask it and you know, pretend that everything is fine. Yeah. And then eventually you end up smoking a little bit of weed, yeah. drinking a little bit of alcohol, and then it becomes a thing. And then you end up now abusing yeah. drugs yeah, and right. falling into deep you yeah. know, addiction. Yeah. So when uh, most people think that uh, uh, other people, the people in the social setting, they don't have to know their personal life. 
Uh -huh. Yeah, but now uh, it's a good thing to keep your personal private, your personal life private. Yeah, mm -hmm. but now you you have to know there are some things that are so much. You you might you might find that you are smiling, but now uh -huh. a person can detect it, can see this mm -hmm. person is smiling, but it's not a genuine smile. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you you have to to learn how to things to hide. Mm -hmm. If I, the, if there are things of personal development or financial success, you can hide. Because yeah. I know in Kenya, if you show off your financial status, your financial uh, success, success, most yeah. of the girls will come following you. And mm -hmm. you will end up using your, all your money on them. Mm -hmm. So some things like that you can hide. But now, when it comes to matters of stress, uh, personal challenges, you know, just talking to one person, he, he can tell you sorry. He can mm -hmm. tell you you can do this and you yeah. can follow that and find that find out that it's helping right. you can tell someone I, I have an issue with my family at home yeah? yeah and a person tells you you, you can go just uh, sit with your family talk to them tell them this is stressing me out I don't like this I don't like being talked to like this like most of the last bones you know yeah. people treat last bones mm -hmm. a bit more no, no, yeah. I'm, I'm a last bone <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> look at you guys <laughs> Like times, yeah. Yeah. it's more weird. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> if a person is in that situation, you can just tell your family, I don't <laughs> like being treated like a child, I'm growing up. Mm. Yeah, I was a last boy, but I'm growing up. Yes, yeah, so yeah, that talking it can help a lot, right? Uh, uh, help you not mm -hmm. get into depression if you are being stressed. Yeah, but, yeah, Manu. Uh, 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 sorry, yeah, go ahead, please. <laughs> about <laughs> the piling up, yes. you see, about piling up, me, I will advise someone watching right now, uh -huh. learn to speak. Okay. Like, if you bore me right now, mm -hmm. me I will tell you right to the face. Oh, you're the kind of guy who are like, Leo. Yeah, uh, that, that's not <laughs> good. I wish you could have done this and this. Yeah. yeah. It ain't nice. All right. Yeah, because you see, if you pile up, that's how maybe you start even being violent. Mm. Right. That okay, you're mm -hmm. in a work setup, ume, ume kasirisho with your supervisor, and then you go home, you find your wife. Mm. Maybe you just forgot to add salt to the yeah. stew. Mm -hmm. You and you're like, which kind of a wife are you? Where did I get you from? Yeah. Yeah. You kupika, it's just sold for one right. day. Mm -hmm. No, but because she won't even know. And then mm -hmm. boom, yeah. she starts cheating on you. She leaves you yeah. without even knowing that stress is a job. You become yeah. an abusive man yeah, all of a sudden. Yeah, not even because of wanting, because of mm. piling up things. Issues, now, when yeah. you get someone that you can get it out on. Yeah, it's, it's called projecting. Yeah, yeah projecting, projecting, yeah. projecting on the wrong places. places. Someone, uh, and then yeah. you, you give someone, she doesn't yes, she's okay. Yeah. I say, personally, if you're watching, deal with things right there and then. Okay. Uh, still on that note, do you believe it's possible for a person to be so stressed and you become extremely wounded to a point you swear to yourself, I will never ever even set my eyes on this kind of a person again. But then I believe that's an extreme as well because for a person to arrive and make a decision where you're like, I will never ever, because I've, it's common, it's, even in relationships, somebody say, I will never date a person who does this and that. But then it's not even people who do this and that, it's because of maybe an issue that they had and then they projected it on you and then it ended up affecting you. But maybe if it, it needed just a little bit of ironing it out, yeah. it would have opened you up to greater possibilities of even seeing people for who they are, not the issue that they came with. Yeah. Do you believe it's possible to be so stressed and you're like, I will never yeah. even go to church because there's people who've been abused yeah. even in churches yeah. as well. Personally, yeah. I believe that the human beings has this nature of, you judge people according to what someone did to you. Mm -hmm. Let's say maybe someone can just look at you and say, you have dreads, you smoke bang. Mm. Uh, but maybe it's according to that personal experience that he has had yes. with the people. Uh, so right. I think someone can be really stressed out of something, maybe even with church, the way you have said. Maybe mm -hmm. the girl has been to two, three churches, and then maybe you found that maybe t one was a cult, one was extor ex extortion, extorting its people. But one yeah. thing that you should know, people are different, churches are different. Yeah. And then by the end of the day, just know people. That the man who you meet today is not the man you meet tomorrow, yeah. personally. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lennox, uh, when it comes to now young men expressing themselves, because if you look at it, I believe you also have a, a group of your own clique. Yeah. yeah. Is it possible to have that one best friend 
who understands your issues, like New York too. And now yeah. for men, because most men actually don't have a lot of friends, yeah. you know, because the rest are fake, like you said it yeah. here. So is it possible to come up with a community of men yeah. who root out for other men whenever they are going through crisis before these things now spill over and become other issues? Yeah, they are, they are, they are there. So like me, I have a circle of maybe of just men. I have uh -huh. a trusted circle of around five to six friends okay. who are most trusted. We went to the same high school, the mm -hmm. same campus. We stay in the same area. So that kind of connection is deep rooted. So yeah. uh, uh, out of those six, I can say I have two who I can trust. Yeah. What about the four? <laughs> <laughs> Good question, by okay, the way. Why, what is the red flag among the, the rest? Yeah, I, you know, y uh, there are no red flags, but you uh -huh. you feel comfortable in sharing. Yeah. With, I can feel comfortable sharing with you. I can yeah. feel comfortable sharing with Manu, but mm -hmm. not uh, not comfortable with sharing with yeah. other people. Or so it also depends with the issues. Isn't it? Yeah, it depends with the issue. If okay. it's a family matter, I have that friend that I can tell my family mm -hmm. is a friend who knows my family well. Yeah, can tell them there's, there's this going on in my family. And mm -hmm. this is happening. How do I cope up with this? With this? Then mm -hmm. there's that friend that I can tell my girlfriend is stressing me out. Yeah, you know, or your mom is stressing you yeah. out, or your dad. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> most most university <laughs> students have met even on the show. Wana ongelea story ya kuinama. Dada jamtumi ya do. Ama na mtumi anga na siya That story is very Yeah, it's yeah. very so true. So like, dada na ni stress and I'm supposed to like do something yeah. extra outside the money he gives me for the yeah, stipend. Yeah, and, and the they don't, uh, so most but of the time that happened, they, mm -hmm. they send the amount that you don't expect. You tell them, we have mm -hmm. a project, we have to, to have this kind of money. But now, the parents in the village, they see uh, this mm -hmm. guy is in Nairobi. He's yeah. looking for money to go and uh, have fun. <laughs> But so they <laughs> have fun. Um, nice. yeah. Until until you you set a foot outside there. Yeah. I mean, I believed Kukosa is true. You see, they okay. the call you call your parent. Mom sent me money, and then she tells you, I don't have. Yeah. yeah. Very true. Mm -hmm. You Kukosa, you can you can stay even without one bob. Mm. You are like Uko too. And yes. you are an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Very big adult. But you, know, you guys, I'm really shocked because adulting, I believe, it should be like 25 and above. Things that should stress you should be like marriage, uh, money. But you guys are 18 to 22 and you're stressing like you're 45. What's up? What's going on? Uh, you see, the era we are, by the time you come 18 years, people believe that you are especially a man. Mm -hmm. A woman can live in the house until 24, 25. But right yeah. now in the setup we are in, mm -hmm. you find that maybe your dad moved from their rural area to, a, to maybe to the town center. Yeah. He's paying rent. He's mm -hmm. feeding you, your mother, maybe your sisters. He's paying school fees. Yes. With the time, to And yeah. that's how. Personally, I, I moved out when I was 20. Okay. Yeah. And then now that's when I knew Kosa is true. They, Mm -hmm. Manu, I don't have money. Very true. But you've learned survival tactics, yeah? Yeah, at least right now I can say that I used to be very, what can I say? But it's a process. I could yeah. get money, mm -hmm. spend it all within one day. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but at least right now I know that the bills token in Ezaisha Kat Katia Mozi. Yeah. I need to and go you need fair. I yeah. need fair. And I you need, need food, clothing. Yeah. yeah, I need credit. And it's all on you, yeah? But, but your parent is supporting on and off, yeah? Right hopefully, now, yeah, I can, hopefully I, on your same I can call. Uh, I can call sema, uh, you're 20 <laughs> and above. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's yes. the, the, need, the times you are living in, the time you are, you are seeing what is happening. You are okay. seeing the financial status. You are seeing the economic uh, uh, crisis. Mm -hmm. So as a young, a young person, you have to know I have, what do I do to deal with this? Because yeah. you are seeing your parents are lacking mm. and you need that thing very urgently. So yeah. you have to find a way. If it's going to look for somewhere, a, a mm. hassle, a small hassle, and find that amount that you need, it's, yeah. uh, it's very much com commendable to you. So right. the times also. Yeah. Times will adjust yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. also when you look at it for a person who comes from a family where they were used to being comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. The situation kwa family yao ilikuwa cool, nonchalant, money is there. If they need yeah. a car, they have theirs. But then a crisis happens and then yeah. everything goes oh. pungulu pangala. And now they have to fight to beyond fight. what they're yeah. used to. And that will render them into, you know, stress, yeah, stress yeah. before we even jump into depression now. Yeah. Yeah. So most of people from such families, they just know everything is there. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, that urge of uh, doing hard work to find yeah. something, they they don't know that. So when uh, they say a crisis has come up, 
uh, and they don't have money, they don't know how to find that money. They just mm. know how to spend. Mm. You know, knowing how to spend and knowing how to find the money is uh, yeah. very <laughs> two, two different, different lives. Things. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so uh -huh. they don't know how to struggle really for that money. Okay, and that's how they end up. You you find they are stressed now. They don't know how to get that money mm. because they just know how to spend. Nice. I'll come to you in just a bit, uh, Manu. There's this video that trended over the weekend of this mama who did a video and she, she, she was talking about the son has been in the house. The son is 38, yeah. so he's not secured a job yet. <laughs> in fact, the mama was saying, please, could you say him to Tongo to get a job? He's 38 years old. Yes, him to Tongo. Brav. When him to Tongo, mama. When him to Tongo, mama. Your mama's boy forever, yeah? So he's 38 years old, never found a job. And in fact, the mother insisted, Hana Bibi, Hana yeah. girlfriend, because of her girlfriend squeezing on Angalia, Hana Kazi. Yeah. You know, for such a person now, uh, I believe they've fallen into depression, yeah. and it's more than stress. Yeah. So, if you were to recommend help to this dude, uh, where do you start to debunk? Uh, let's say just from the f from the onset, yeah. if you were to meet this guy, or maybe even have a phone call, because I believe that's a deep rooted issue. Yeah, Thirty eight, never gotten out of your mother's house, but then. Is she, see, 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 God, see God says, <laughs> <laughs> I'll dwell in the house of my father's house. <laughs> Why not? You know, I saw some of the comments and they're really funny. But how do you help such a guy? So, such a guy, I think uh -huh. the problem started when maybe the peers, when uh -huh. the peers started getting a job, the peers started marrying, the peers started moving out of their house. But mm -hmm. on his side, the guy did not see any success. Okay. Maybe he tried, I can say, maybe he tried several times to get a girl, he's not getting, to get a job, he's not getting, to move out, he doesn't have the money. So, what do you do? East or West, or Mr. West? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just stay. <laughs> now, I cannot do anything, just stay there. But in the real sense, he has to try more and more. Now yeah. you see he's, he's at 38, he's still relaxed in the house. At mm. 38, you have to wake up at 5 or 6 a.m. Yeah. If he's staying in the city, you have to go to go yeah. out. You'll find somewhere. Utapata mjengo. Utapata maali unapenyuneza pata at that 10 bob or 20 bob. And if you put that money, uh, pile, 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 that 20 bob, that 10 bob a day, you'll find something that you can move out with. You can yeah. Even if it's a single room or a bed sitter, you can mm -hmm. just move out and start or start a small business. Yeah. I see a lot of people in Nairobi, they are really struggling. You find a person in a matatu with a packet of sweet. Sweet yeah. that you can buy. If mm -hmm. uh, let's say if it's me, I can mm. buy a whole packet and go and stay with it in the in the house. Yeah, but yeah. that person He's is selling. It and so That's the is uh, source of living. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So you can just try. You you can find a two hundred bob and go sell those sweet. You'll get a profit of twenty bob or fifty bob. Yes. Then you go the, the next day buy two packets. You yeah. get a profit of hundred. You are moving. Mm. You are making progress. But now yeah. just staying in the house at thirty eight. Mm. <laughs> That's it's so a bad. red flag. Yeah. I mean, there's something off. But Manu, if you have your mother who supports you and loves you, why should you suffer? Did you apply to suffer? <laughs> you know, I saw, <laughs> I saw that, no, I saw that video. I'm like, I never came to suffer. Or if you, if you go help me, no. yeah, <laughs> help me. You know, why should I suffer when I have a mother yeah. who sympathizes and helps? So it means also the parents should also push him by support because yeah. that's a that's a gentleman who needs a lot of support but, yeah but you yeah. see for a man who is already that eight years i believe that the parent has done everything that he can okay 38 years you are still at your mom's house he mm -hmm. has done it trust me your mom has done it but when you're a baby boy life starts at 40. <laughs> yes yeah. but what i can tell oh, you is not a, there yeah. yet ah. is that yeah, it's two more two more years to start <laughs> life yeah. yeah but what yeah. i can tell him is Maybe, like you said, he yeah. saw his peers making it in life and he lost hope. Yeah. One yeah. thing you should look onto God. Today he made it, tomorrow you'll make it. But yeah. if yeah. you stop trying, you will never make it because yeah. yes. then you are not trying, you are just at home. Start something at least. Start something because he kazi mtani, hustle ya ruto, ruto hezi kuja kwenua kwambia, unajua nini? Endo safishe mto Nairobi. Apply for those jobs, go to Google my job, mag Kenya, see jobs. Yeah. Could, you can Course be even a watchman. But experience. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you learn. <laughs> <laughs> and <don't> wash you. <laughs> you know, a lot of people take these things for granted, but they give you life lessons. Yeah. The process. Uh, yes. Life is a give process. You know, you know, you process. You know, you know, process. That's the, the process. Yes, mm. Yeah. But then now, when this issue, stress, because uh, stress is mild, it's temporary, and when it accumulates, it now 
drips to depression. depression. But then now for men who already are dealing with stress, something is stressing you that, you know, you're like, I can temporarily deal with it. But then now you're dealing with depression. Let's say now uh, you've lost a parent or maybe a lover has had broken you. And then you've also arrived at that place, you're like, stay dead, Tena. But then you carry this resentment and this anger that keeps on affecting you even it spills over in the, in, the, in the friendship cycle. It even affects you when you go to workspaces. Because what I've also come to learn about depression is that in the stress at large is, you'll always meet people who remind you of a bad place Some, that yeah. you don't yeah. like going. And that could even be your boss, it could even be a cousin, it could even be somebody close. But because you've not dealt with that part and healed it, it becomes a wound. So it starts manifesting as anger, not paying attention to some people, being so angry, and now the sabotaging comes in and then it becomes Manu, you have issues and you have to go. But the root cause of it is there's a wound that's festering that never and heal. needs to be dealt with, yeah. Right, sure. mm -hmm. So what I can say about stress leading into depression, mostly mm -hmm. at a background, like you have said, Nivitu is a manifest. Mm -hmm. So what I can say is for you to avoid it, like I said, deal with things as they come. Okay deal with something today, don't let it pile up. Today maybe, let's say maybe you are working in the same environment, you do okay. something, maybe you use my computer without asking me. Nika mm -hmm. hold ako ka garage. Nikuja tu nikuambia hii computer ni yako. Nika hold. <laughs> Tomorrow I will come to work, that guy. Yeah. The next time someone else tries to use my computer, I will have it on him. And maybe when umekuwa na mazoya ye ni first time ametumia. Yeah. So that's what I can say that, deal with things the way they come, and yes. then, the, the good thing about depression and stress is, you mm -hmm. see people are used to dealing with stress on their own. Yeah. At some point, it's very hard to, to, to get themselves into depression. Depression okay. comes in, like you said, okay, in a good life. Right. You are living a very good life and then something, something comes happens. in, something yeah. happens. Yeah. Yeah. That person will go straight to depression, not even stress, yeah. depression. depression mm. so. But people who are used, how when you are kujita wa naume, most mm. of them, they, they live with stress, they become violent, but it's very difficult yeah. because the body, the, the body mechanism has, is already used to it. Right. Yeah, but what I can say, seek help. Seek help. Uh, what are the coping mechanisms? <laughs> I, it's 9.55, I can't believe, you know, I, <laughs> to my answer to, oh, from to <laughs> Maliza, to <laughs> answer to Kimaliza. I'm borrowing from lyrics, is uh, a little minor. He yeah. says, depression will kick in, to not ban kishash, kishash ko bash, yeah? Uh, would you recommend uh, such options for men who are dealing with stress as a coping mechanism? Ban kishash kobash. I know. No, that's not uh, not recommendable. Mm -hmm. Because you know the issue with drugs, they just uh, take you in a world of fantasy for, uh, for for a temporal time. Mm -hmm. Then you come back, the problem is still staring at you. It says, yeah. "Hey guy, I'm, I'm here. here. I'm, I'm still here." Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you and then you go back again. Yeah, you go back. You are You're postponing the process. Yeah, you are postponing. But yeah. now you okay. just have to be sober. No, yeah. I don't have this. I, I have to do this. Okay. Deal with it. They say life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you deal with it. Okay. You see. So when it happened, you That's are scary. Whoever came up yeah. with that. <laughs> You must have been a gangster. Bent. <laughs> <laughs> how you react yeah. to it is yeah. how, will, uh, how yeah. it will help you get right. out of that situation. You see, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, you, you are going to drink. You, are, you will drink, you will come, you will wake up maybe late for work. You yes. have hangover and you, have, you, you, you just had stress, maybe you are heartbroken. You yeah. say, ah, I'm heartbroken. Let me go have some glasses there. Yeah. You and then good. after, uh, after then back to your heartbreak. Uh, yeah, you build, back to your heartbreak. Watch, maybe yeah. you, you, you are to yeah. go to work early. You have right. woken up maybe at nine and you are to, work, to be at work at eight. Yes. So you come to work, you have another stress now. You have to deal with the HR. Mm. Uh, yeah, you still have your, your heartbreak back. Yes. <laughs> back for you yeah, heart. but so. <laughs> if you are a man, you just have to say, I'm heartbroken. I have to yes. move on. I have to yes. find a new girl. They say right. women are uh, in the ratio of seven to one. Yes. <laughs> you can find another one. In fact, it's the Islamic simple. community, they encourage you to marry four. At least, I think yeah. they have a standard. Uh, yeah. Three, yeah, I believe. Less than there, they marry a lot. <laughs> yeah? And there, I see. You're, <laughs> you're, you're saying what you're doing, doing, yeah? Yeah. So you can just move on from that then <laughs> if you say it's okay you will okay. go have sleep you will eat well mm -hmm. you wake up early come to work and right yeah and move on with life mm -hmm. just that simple all right and i think you can put a close to that so just say your social media very fast because we are out of time oh my social media yeah, burning underscore dollar yeah all right what about you i'm lee underscore nox mm -hmm. underscore one
right? Yeah. This conversation should have a part two. I loved the insights <laughs> that you guys gave, okay? But thank yeah. you so much, Lennox and uh, Manu. Yeah. yeah. All right, we say thank you as well for watching us from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. We'll see you tomorrow bright and early with my co-star Stephanie at Brian Sakwan 1, at Stephanie Ayeta, and then at Y254 channel. See you tomorrow.